I've looked high and low for a portable hex beam. I even thought about building one until I started kind of sketching it up, laying it out, looking at parts and what it would take. I was going to have to spend some money. That thing is going to be heavy. I know there's a portable one out there um, that's pretty popular, that that um, multi-band. The problem with that is it's a waiting list usually to get it. And um, a bit more than I want to spend, to be honest with you. I looked and looked. And I came across something pretty cool. It's the Poda Beam. I found this on eBay. I'm like, cool, this is awesome. So I purchased the DX75 Plus Poda Beam. It's a single band. It's just 10 meters, or we should say 10 and 11 meters. It'll work on both. Um, after you look at the price and, and this thing and, and what it is, not, trust me, I've tried everything trying to do this. Um, this is a bargain, and it only weighs seven pounds. So I was like, cool. So I got a hold of one. I've got it up. I'll show it to you, and let's just go check out how awesome this thing is. Stick around. Okay, here we go. Wow, that's a sexy antenna. Not gonna lie, that thing's cool looking. It really is. Uh, there it is, the Poda Beam DX75 Plus. I got this up. This is a fiberglass mast, a collapsible mast that's available from DX Engineering. I'll put a link to that as well. And what I do is I put a, uh, I've got a piece of three inch PVC pipe that I just kind of drove in the ground a little bit to hold it up and to stare it and kind of keep it upright and by myself while I'm uh, putting the uh, guy wire. So I have four guy wires on it, keeping everything in place there. So there you go, you see it. Uh, this is a really cool mask. First time out with the mask as well. Uh, one thing for sure, I'm gonna go back down here and show you. This right here, the spreader for the guy wires, that came with the, uh, the Poda Beam. That was part of the Poda Beam deal. And this mask is the mask that they recommend for this thing. So there it is, there is the uh, Poda Beam. I've got it aimed. Looking due south right now. I'm going to go see what I can do due south. This thing was so, so easy to put up. I mean, I had this thing up in no time, maybe 20 minutes tops, in fact. But, uh, and I've never done it before. Great set of instructions to, uh, to get it up. But uh, there you go. And I'm running over to my little uh, picnic bench there under the top there. But there it is, the Poda Beam. Now, I'm looking north, so I'm going to be aiming away from the water. Uh, it's early afternoon. I was looking to see what was going on. Don't know if uh, Europe's still open and not on 10 meters, but hey, we'll find out. But let's get on. I'll show you the uh, show you the radio and the setup here. Let's get on and try to make some contacts here. And back over here, radio-wise, 100 watts with my Yaesu FT710. Now, SWR across both the 11 and the 10 meter bands it was under two um i will probably it looked more favorable towards the the uh lower end of the band and the higher end of 11 so i'll probably will I'll, I'll use the tuner to get it perfect but um there you go i've got my ipad there for logging let's go see what's happening kilo four oscar or golf oscar zero delta charlie kilo four, kilo four. hello you five nine over all right, Roger, Roger, you're five nine. The call is Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. You're five nine into Virginia. I'm portable. Roger, Roger, Kilo uh, Four, Ocean Golf, Ocean. Roger, Roger, five nine plus ten, over. Hey, Roger, Roger, five nine plus ten this way as well. Thank you so much for the contact, my friend. Seventy three. Thank you, seventy three. This is Sugar Zero. Holy cow, I just heard that station in Western Sierra in Northern Africa. And so I, I turned the beam immediately, pile up like you would not believe. And I busted through like on the first try. I cannot believe it. And to get the, the signal report I got from him, I, I got goosebumps, man. This was amazing. Let's go make some more DX contacts. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Oscar. Right, you're 5'9 as well in Virginia, thank you.
you know, I just did a video on 11 meters about uh, some of the behavior. And there you go. There's a de-expedition in Eastern Africa, which I was fortunate enough to get and make the contact with. There's somebody keying up over top of them and doing crazy stuff. And <sighs> come on, guys. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo Kilo Quattro, Oscar, Golfi, Oscar. Kilo Quattro, Oscar, Four, Oscar. Si, sí, si. Sí. One moment, it's correct. Kilo Four, Oscar, Four, Oscar. Si, sí, Kilo Four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. You're five nine, five nine, and to Virginia, USA. Okay, thank you, thank you. But no, 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 no. Si, sí, you senior in QRT.com. Kilo four Oscar Fox Oscar at five and seven QSL. QSL, you're five and seven as well. It's Kilo four Oscar Germany Oscar K four O G O. The name is Walt and portable in Virginia. Kilo four portable Virginia. Thanks again for the five by seven. Also, at by seventy three is intro the band. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Kilo four after go for after. Okay, nice. Okay, my friend, good afternoon. Uh, East Asia, the Papa Uniform 80 Whiskey, Charlie Bravo, Report 5 is ever using the feature service in Anorte, Brazil, Amazonia, South America. My name is Alan from Alpha Lima, Alpha November, Roger. Roger, Roger, Alan. Five, okay, Brazil. Okay, okay, no problem. Oscar, Wolf, Oscar, no problem. I copy fine, I give you the report. Uh, uh, Vals, Vals, okay, Vals. Uh, QSL, your report, 5757, five, seven. the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable in Virginia, USA. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, 7A, 7A for you, no problem. Here it is. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. I copy, I copy. You're 5656 five, into Virginia, USA. Thank you very much. It's 506. Uh, uh, Vino, my antenna now from uh, North America. Your father and I, 69, Roger. Thank you, uh, thank you, Walt. Nice to see you again. And thank you for another contact. And the very first one here on uh, 10 meters. Thank you so much for the contact here on, set, on 10 meters. Uh, you come up that time, you're about a 5'8, five, 5'8. Eight, five, eight. Good signal. You're five and eight with me as well, uh, uh, Walt. Nice to see you again, my friend. Thank you so much. Have a great day. 73. 73, 8556 November. We're with you. Okay. Okay. Meters, CQ 10 meters. This is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, calling CQ, CQ, K4, O, G, O, calling CQ, CQ for anyone, anyone. Kilo, India 5, Zulu, Delta, Delta. Kilo India 5, Zulu Delta Delta, great signal here. Good to catch you on the uh, on the band here. Name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable in Virginia. I'll give you a signal report on the next go-round. Walt, this is Bill Dunn in South Texas, my brother. You sound fantastic. Your signal is about a 5-9, over. Hey, Roger that. You're about a 10 over. You got a wonderful signal up here as well. I am uh, kind of beaming in your direction, going and beaming west. I have a hex beam up, a portable hex beam for 10 meters. And wow, this thing's amazing. Understood. Well, the hex beam is doing just fine for you, my friend, because it's greedy. You could be standing right here next to me, Walt. Yeah, Oscar, Golf, Oscar Walt, thank you so much for uh, coming back to me, Walt. Uh, you're 5'9", you're in Dallas. Hey, you're five nine ten over. I'm out portable with a little portable hex beam for ten meters aimed in your direction, and you're sounding wonderful here. That's awesome. You're five nine uh, here in Dallas. Uh, so portable station is working amazing. Uh, thanks so much for all you do for us. I, I love your videos and appreciate you very much. Hey, thanks for the kind words. You're making me blush there, my friend. Uh, I heard you say you picked up a ZL New Zealand station earlier. I'm kind of hoping, I'm aimed in your direction because for me, that's also over to New Zealand. I'm hoping I can make one of those myself here before I pack it up. Uh, same with, same thing here. Uh, when I'm pointed towards the uh, uh, the East Coast, it's you know the backside of my antenna. I've got it's a Delta loop, so it's kind of bipolar. My backside's pointed towards uh, uh, the uh, Australia, uh, New Zealand area. Yeah, I've got that. Kilo point. Uh, Kilo four. Oscar. 
Sorry. Yeah, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm portable, portable in Virginia, East Coast, USA. You're about a 5'6", five, 5'6", six, five, six here, my friend. Uh, did you tell your name was Walt? There you go. Green, that's why you go. Green, I think I remember. Uh, you're doing our five foot four here, and you're on your portable, over. Roger that, roger that. Yeah, the name is Walt. Uh, you're about a five, that time about a five six, five six, and I am portable with a hex beam aimed right at you there in New Zealand from the east coast of the USA. Hey, come up to a five six here, so uh, it's great to make the content here, Walt. Thanks, Jerry. You're doing that, making your DNs on your portable over. I uh, put my hand up for you, and you're sitting with me, I'm just putting it home over. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And this is wonderful. I've been waiting until uh, the band opened there uh, to, uh, to your way to New Zealand all afternoon. So this is what I wanted to do. You are that contact. So thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, what sort of power are you pushing there, Walt? I'm 100 watts with a Yesu FT710, and I have a portable hex beam about uh, 5 meters in the sky. Uh, it's, the hex beam is just a 10-meter hex beam. Well, what a day, what an antenna, what a blast. That's what I live for. I just like to come out and hunt DX. And uh, boy, was that a DX antenna conditions. Every When the planets align, the planets align. There's a kid over there practicing his uh, <laughs> trumpet. So I guess that's kind of making an end of my uh radio afternoon i'm kind of uh i've done enough <laughs> it was great i mean i worked uh africa a couple stations in africa a lot of stations in south america some uh europe uh wow azores canary islands uh, i don't know what more I could, and in new zealand i mean what a great just amazing day of uh, dx what a great antenna uh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. There's a video by uh, the Potabeam uh, guys on how to build this thing. I just showed you it. Uh, it was really simple. I'll put a link to that video below as well. Man, I think of all of the things that I purchased, and uh, you know, I've been really. I mean, I've had some great antennas lately. The uh, the vertical mocks and uh, the the Mamo Beam. There's great. Um, this one, uh, this one's, oh, yes. I'm going to be out with some more. You know what I want to do? I want to take this one out with me on 11 meters because when I, I did this, the sweep on it, it's kind of kind of geared. Uh, the SWR was it was wide, but it was kind of more uh, that the high end of, uh, of 11, low end of 10. Uh, I think I would go out with just an 11 meter uh, CB, uh, maybe, uh, I said 11 meter. 12 watt, I make mistakes like this all the time on videos, guys. A 12 watt uh, SSBCB, probably like the uh, President McKinley or something, with this and try to work some skip uh, on, on on 11 meters and uh, and see how that works out. But um, everything you need below, I'll tell you what, um, I'm just so glad I got this antenna. And, um, I, I, you know, the price, I don't like to just put it out here. Whatever the price is, the price is, you can look at it. I think it was a bargain. I really do. Um, you're not going to get the kind of DX excitement that I just got from, well, for the price you pay. I think it was a great antenna. Um, if you're looking for something that's absolutely amazing. the um, i tell you what really made a difference, too, though, is the um, – is the pole, the fiberglass pole from uh, DX Engineering as well. I'll put a link to that below. I think that thing was like custom made for this antenna almost. It was just, they are, you know, for sure the antenna was made for the pole, but uh, they go so well together and uh, just amazing, just amazing. So what a day. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, also, please hit the hype button. That's something new that, um, that uh, YouTube has added. And if you're a follower of mine, you're a subscriber, uh, you watch me. If you've gotten this far in the video, hey, hit the hype while you're at it. I appreciate it. Kind of helps me in the algorithm and uh, keeps the channel going. Um, and, and I greatly appreciate it. Till next time, my friends, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty.